You are now tuned in to Freeing the Minds TV, home to mindful living. Peace, love, and light. Indeed. Mm. Peace and love. Peace and love. Welcome back to www.freeingtheminds.com. Once again, we are live in effect out here in life and enjoying nature, man. Enjoying nature. What a beautiful, glorious day this is, man. Another day above ground, waking up alive in life. Just happy to be here. Really happy to be here, man, on this planet, on this earth, in this beingness, in this mind state, in this life, man. It's truly a blessing to be alive, man. Every breath of life is a blessing. Every breath of life is a blessing. And today we're just gonna take the time to observe a little bit of nature, go out here and just see the beauties of nature and the wisdom of nature and learn a little bit about this beauty, learn a little bit about its natural wisdom in which it provides for us, man. The natural life all around us. So without further ado, let's just get right on into it and enjoy this beautiful day. Thank you again for tuning on in. Let's get right on.
Mother Nature. <sighs> you smell that? Nature, man. Beautiful Mother Nature. All the fabulous colors, the luscious greenery, the sweet sounds early in the morning. Waking up to this, man. Life thriving. Life is thriving. A stroll through nature really puts the mind at peace, man. Waking up to seeing the dew on the floor, this carpet we call grass. Hearing the songs of life being sung through the voice of the birds, the love of life deep in their lungs. It's a beautiful world in which we live, man. The grand design of nature is everywhere. And we step out into it. It doesn't take nothing but a moment to feel at home. Bring everything back to peace. Bring everything back to mind. Bring everything current. The necessities in life. The abundance of life. The fruitfulness of life, man. We see it all around us out here in nature. All around us out here in nature. Mother Nature reminds us of our own nature. Exactly of our own nature. Who we are, what it is we value, what we aspire to. Simplifies all the chaos in the world, man. You tune on to the TV, into the news, into social media, into all these various different man-made mechanics. And then we digress and find our retrospect in nature, man. We come on out here, reflect on the things that's important to us. It reminds us immediately where the value is. The value is within yourself and what you behold. How do you see this world? How do you appreciate this world? and all the things in which you share this world with. For nothing is our own. Not even our own minds, not even our own thoughts, not even our own selves, man. We belong to life. And this nature really helps to remind us the beauties of it. Helps us to remind us of all the interconnectedness that we are. No one is an island. We're all in it together. Let's take a stroll through this beauty of nature and see what else we have, see what else we see. We're gonna see a lot of grand things. The beautiful grand design of nature. Mother Nature never lets us down. She'll humble us. She'll remind us who we are, that we are merely human beings striving to be human, striving to live a life, happiness. Though we've concocted a lot of our official into our natural designs of life, a lot of artificial, creating a false sense of hope, a false sense of happiness, false sense of peace which comes and goes very much like the fleeting moment of the design of the times in which we're in man everything is ultimately cycling coming and going nothing staying nothing here for the long term nothing seen that is nothing seen for all these things that we see always change form transform shift, even their importance and their value shift in our own sense of self. The things that we valued when we were kids, sometimes these things change. And even the values we hold now, they'll change as we continue to progress and grow, move forward. The things we needed when we were youth, we don't necessarily need them now. We need more things differently at different stages in life. Baby food is fit for a child, a baby. But surely a teenager won't want to eat baby food. Hmm. 
The needs change. The values change. The wants and the desires change. But the essence of life, man, the essence of life, doesn't seem to change. The pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of peace, the pursuit of welcome, the sense of belonging, feeling welcomed, appreciated and loved, these things, they don't change. If anything, their echoes and their sounds become louder in our lives. The more we get further away from them, begging and asking for a way to return back to that peace. Nature will bring us that. For nature is fully thriving and alive out here. Prosperous and abundant. You must appreciate nature. Appreciate her while you're here. Take that walk while you can. Open your eyes. Behold all the beauty before you. For beauty is always at hand, man. And it's always in the eye of the beholder. It's just what are you beholding and how are you beholding it? What are you seeing and how are you looking at it? This is life we're in. And all things change. Acceptance and appreciation. Recognizing the value in each thing, in each moment, in each breath. All these things will help us to pump the brakes a little bit, slow it down, recognize where we're at. What course and direction are we traveling? Where are we headed to? Right now is a great time, wonderful time in life, to ultimately recenter the self. Find out what it is that's in your nature. How do you want to start your day? How do you want to continue your days, the rest of them? Not one day is promised. The next breath isn't even guaranteed. The moment we start to realize these little things, man, oftentimes it comes by way of loss. Losing things, losing people, losing situations, circumstances, recognizing the value in the moment. We get to slow it down. Great vision often comes from great loss. Great vision often comes from great loss, often over time, it takes time to perceive these things. But even just the loss of communication, the loss of interaction, the loss of being able to go to the movie theaters and check out a movie with your good friend, the loss of being able to go and fellowship with some people in a nice environment, man, a group of people being around them. The absence of social life, real social life, has created a deep appreciation for these people these situations, these opportunities, be able to go see a play or a musical performance or just something creative, something divine, anything artistic is ultimately divine. Coming from beyond the individual and speaking far beyond the individual, even speaking far beyond the viewer, speaking to the viewer, speaking through the viewer, but hoping the message reaches beyond that. That it creates change in thought, change in behavior, change in appreciation, change in recognition, change. The nature of all things. So ultimately is more like art, is very much like water to the grass and to the seeds. Something to help stimulate growth, nurture what's already there, taking place, the shift and the change, ushering it towards its full blossoming, bringing out the vibrant colors within it, helping us to appreciate and see where we're at, 
and create a better vision moving forward. This is life. This is nature. This is art. This is us. This is us. As we proceed in this day, man, take it in. All of it. See the beauty of it all. See the oneness of it all. The interconnectedness of it all. The little things make the greatest difference. The little things make the greatest difference. If it weren't for the bees, none of this would be. None of this would be. If it wasn't for the worms, none of this would be. If it wasn't for the ants, none of this would be. You remove these things from society, you remove these things from life, you have a completely different world. Humanity. We have to do better. We have to look at our natural surroundings. We have to look at our brothers and sisters in life. Nature. The birds, the bees, the willow trees. All of these things are relatives. The lives in which we share life with. So many lessons that we can learn from them. So many lessons they're trying to sing and teach us. Moment to moment, day to day. Life to life, breath to breath. The thing that always amazes me, when I see a bird, we got a couple birds we're going to be looking at, and when I see the birds come in and they just take their nice big bodies and they land on a little whim, like a twig, sticking up out the ground, and I'm sure they weigh more than that twig, but they balance on that twig. The bird comes in, flies, and lands on that twig and they balance on that twig. It doesn't bend, it doesn't break, it doesn't even hit the ground. It waves a little bit and then they find its balance and the bird still remains on the twig. It moves around on the twig and then hops from that twig to the next twig to grab its meal or its snack or whatever it is taking back to build its home. But the way the bird balances it's heavy weight on something that is lighter and it doesn't break it it doesn't press down on it it moves gently it's cautious it's careful energy displacement weight displacement where it places its weight very much like a tai chi very much like tai chi Feeling the shift in the weight, shifting the weight from probably from below up to high. I have no idea how these birds do it. The magic is within them. And these things they can teach us. The balance of life. Sometimes you're heavier than your situations. Your thoughts, overthinking, overanalyzing. Or giving it too much weight, giving it too much thought, rendering it too much energy towards the negative spectrum, it'll push you there. Especially when you're seeing a lot of negativity happening around yourself. And removing yourself and taking yourself into nature doesn't necessarily stop the problems that are happening. But it gives you a clear perspective of the happenings. And it gives you a solid groundation while it's happening. So when you do re-engage back into the society or when you do re-engage back into the situation, you know how to integrate. You know how to incorporate. Most importantly, you know how to be without changing without changing. What do I mean by that? Because things, the nature of things is to change without changing, without changing your essence. Without, without coming outside of yourself, being something that you're not. But remaining in the fortitude of yourself, the solitude of yourself, the strength of yourself. Remaining in that. Allowing your heart to radiate the light that which you are and allow your light to influence your surroundings. And the only way and the best way we can do this is by having a clear understanding of who and where we're at with it. 
And when the chaos and the noise gets too much, that's when you come out to nature, man. One of my teachers used to tell me that nature takes all the doo-doo, all the garbage, and all the trash, it takes it into itself and it makes flowers. All the manure, all the fertilizer, all the excess waste, which we put out, nature takes that, cleanses it up, and makes it useful. How much more will it do for our thoughts? How much more can it do for our souls? When we're coming out here and we're feeling a certain way, guaranteed just a little bit of time in nature, breathing, observing, taking it all in. You might not even be conscious of what's happening, man. But it'll happen and it'll shift and it'll place you right in that place of mind where you need to be moving forward. And when you re-engage back into society, mm, you'll have a peace. You'll have a fortitude and a strength and a groundation in which you stand, immovable and unshakable. But you are a reflection of your nature. You are an extension of the Most High. Recognizing your nature and knowing your extension and your essence in which you derive from allows you to be totally and completely who you are. Let us be ourselves this day. Let us remember ourselves this day. And let this world, this life, this nature, this earth, this creation remind us of our nature as creators, as builders, as learners, as strivers for greatness, strivers for perfection, a perfect expression of who you are, your perfect expression, your fingerprint, your beingness your purpose, your power, your essence, your light. Radiate this. Unceasingly. Unceasingly. As we change and shift this world to this next phase. Thank you, your. Thank you for tuning in. We thank God for this day and this life and all that is in them. We ask that your will be done to help elevate and raise our vibration, our thoughts, our feelings, our expression, our whole entire being. Help us to raise our light and our vibration to that perfect purpose which you have created us for. We give thanks this day, this life, and always. In the Most High Yah, we pray. Amen. Have a beautiful, blessed day, y'all. I wish you nothing but love and light. Thank you again for tuning in. live in effect so now we are going to go into the book of the wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and we're going to be talking about the importance of wisdom the value of wisdom the precious jewels of wisdom and um, just life in general so let's see what the wisdom of Solomon has to say about all of this let's go right on in there so I said like I said chapter 7 Wisdom of Solomon. Chokma Shaloma. Chokma Shaloma. The Wisdom of Solomon, Chapter 7. I myself also am a mortal man, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth, and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of ten months, being compacted in blood of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep. And when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature, 
And the first voice which I uttered was crying, as all others do. I was nursed in swaddling clothes, and that with cares. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. For all men have one entrance into life, and the like going out. Wherefore I prayed and understanding was given me. I called upon Elohim and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her before scepters and thrones and esteemed riches nothing in comparison of her. Neither compared I unto her any precious stone because all gold in respect of her is as a little sand. A silver and silver shall be counted as clay before her. I loved her above health and beauty and chose to her, ooh, I loved her above health and beauty and chose to have her instead of light. For the light that comes from her never goes out. All good things together came to me with her and innumerable riches in her hands. And I rejoiced in them all because wisdom goes before them. And I knew not that she was the mother of them. I learn diligently and do communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches for she is a treasure unto men that never fails. Let me read that again. For she is a treasure unto men that never fails, which they that use become the friends of Elohim being commended for the gifts that come from learning. Elohim has granted me to speak as I would and to conceive as is meet for the things that are given me because it is he that leads unto wisdom and directs the wise. For in his hands are both we and our words, all wisdom also and knowledge of workmanship. For he has given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely, to know how the world was made and the operations of the elements, the beginning, ending, and mist of the times, the alterations of the turning of the sun and the change of the seasons, the circuits of years and the positions of stars, the natures of living creatures and the theories of wild beasts, the violence of winds and the reasonings of men, the diversities of plants and the virtues of roots, and all such things as are either secret or manifest, them I know. For wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me. For in her, an understanding spirit, holy, one only, manifold, subtle, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good quick, which cannot be letted, ready to do good, kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and going through all understanding, pure and most subtle spirit. For wisdom is more moving than in, in any motion. Say that again. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes and goes through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the power of Elohim and a pure influence flowing from the glory of El Shaddai. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her. Mm. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of Elohim and the image of his goodness. And being but one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she makes all things new, and in all ages entering into holy souls, she makes them friends of Elohim and prophets. For Elohim loves none but him that dwells with wisdom. For she is more beautiful than the sun and above all the orders of stars. Being compared with the light, she is found before it. For after this comes night, but vice shall not prevail against wisdom. Amen.
the beauty of wisdom, the power of wisdom, before all things, the provider and giver of all things, the uniter of all things to the most high. And not all can possess it, but only that which is given to. Wisdom is a beautiful gift. Wisdom is a beautiful gift, man, most cherishable. More precious than precious stones, more precious than light, as it said. I learn diligently and do communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches, for she is a treasure unto men that never fails, which they that use become the friends of Elohim being commended for the gifts that come from learning, being commended for the gifts that come from learning, refining oneself, making oneself better, doing better, perceiving better, seeing better, seeing a better vision, seeing a better thought, seeing a better outcome, pursuing a better thought, pursuing a better outcome, the pursuit of perfection, man self-perfection be the best that we can moment to moment day to day hour to hour breath to breath wisdom the beginning ending and the mist of times gives understanding of all things the natures of the living creatures and the theories of the wild beasts wisdom man for she is the breath of the power of elohim and a pure influence flowing from the glory of el shaddai Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of Elohim and the image of his goodness. Amen. What a beautiful word, man. This day let us seek wisdom and pray that it becomes understanding, our understanding, our natural understanding. Wisdom the most precious gift. Blessings and love, man. Let us step out here back into nature. Thank you again for tuning in. Peace and love.
Peace. Visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel.